Uh, Sahil says, please tell me how Islam defines sleep paralysis and how can we treat it? Sleep paralysis, people say that it can be attributed to nightmares or what they call al-jathum. And al-jathum is something that makes you hard, makes it hard for you to breathe and it collapses your chest and you feel pal paralyzed. You can't speak, you can't shout, you can't move. And most likely this is a nightmare. You think that you're a, a, a awake and you want to move, but you are unable because you're still asleep. Others, and, and this can be due to things that you had eaten, the wrong diet or whatever. And some say that this can be attributed to jinn possession. Either way, if this happens, you should maintain your adhkar, which is your antivirus, keeps you protected. You have to maintain your adhkar in the morning, in the evening, after fard prayers, before going to bed, and before leaving your house. And you will be 24-7 protected. You have to do ruqya if you are facing this, and this is continuous, make ruqya on water, blow on it, drink from it, wash your face with it, number of times, multiple times during the day and night, and inshallah, you will not find this afterwards.